Skyrim, one of the greatest and most fun sandbox RPGs of all time, but it can be improved significantly with those wonderful creations called mods. But when it comes to modding, there is often a lot of trial and error, crashing, bugs, ultimate destruction that can occur. But fear not, for today I am about to tell you a very easy way for you to download your very own mod packs or mod lists for Skyrim, Fallout and many other games. Hello there, my name is Bailey and I like you have been playing Skyrim most likely for a long long time since release in fact and I have also been modding it ever since we've been able to as well but these days despite my ridiculously extensive and somewhat unnecessary modding knowledge I don't actually mod the game manually myself anymore instead I choose to use a wonderful tool called Wobberjack. Now I'm going to show you exactly what Wobberjack is today, how to use it, how you can view the mod lists available on it and why I choose to use it over manual modding. This is a lifesaver and it will change your modding game and the way you mod these games in the future. If you're like me and you just don't have the time to build the perfect mod list anymore, this is definitely for you. Let's check it out. Before we get started here, I just wanted to drop a note. If you do enjoy this video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and other RPG and video gaming stuff on my channel. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to this wonderful website website excuse me called wobberjack it's wobberjack.org there will be a link in the description and you will hear read the description an automated mod list installer and this is exactly what wobberjack is it is a bit of software you download to your computer and from there you can select a mod list and it will automatically download and install that mod list for you now i'm going to cover all the details i'm sure there are many questions does it come with a mod organizer tool um, do i need nexus premium is it free? All of that stuff I will cover uh, in this video in this time now. But first of all, let's take a look at the gallery section here. You can do this on the website and you will have a look and be able to see in this gallery what kinds of mod lists are available now. All of these mod lists have been created by some very, very talented people within the Skyrim, Bethesda, Fallout modding communities. You'll see the names of several people here as we scroll down the list. But there are lists for Fallout New Vegas. This is a Skyrim VR list, a special edition list, special edition as well. Another VR list. There's even a list for Enderal as well there. As, so, so many lists for a lot of different games. Obviously, this video is mainly focusing on Skyrim, but you know, you can pick anything. There's a Stardew Valley list here as well. A whole bunch of different mod lists that have been created by very talented people, people like Org Speed, people by like Dylan Perry or Belmont Boy. These are very talented modders. So I'm sure, you know, maybe you've spent a lot of time modding Skyrim and Bethesda games yourself, but these are people who not only put together an awesome list of mods that work nicely together, play nicely together, but they go in, they patch all of these mods to work nicely together. They make intricate changes and balance mods to work together in ways that you would not be able to do yourself. So it's not just a collection of mods for for your ease it is an packaged experience detailed and tailored to a specific experience here you'll see fallout 4 enhanced edition is a hardcore list made to expand and deepen the commonwealth built around horizon which is a core gameplay overhaul it's a deadly encounters mod ammo is scarce can you survive the wasteland you can compare that to boston cream pie another fallout 4 list a fallout 4 mod list based on vanilla sprinkles to give you the ultimate law friendly ish experience so different lists are catered to different modding experiences within the game so whatever you're looking for if it's something laid back, if it's something with new quests, new content, if it's something that's survival, overhaul based, there is a list for everyone available. But you're going to want to go back to the main page and click the download button here to get the software. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and run it and you will get your little Wobberjack software here. And it's a very, very simple process in order to get one of these mod lists installed on your computer. You just click browse a mod list. Now, before you do anything else, because I'm going to tell you now, instead of, you know, telling you in a minute before someone just press pause on this video and goes ahead and does this one thing i will say wobberjack is free you do not need to pay anything to use the wobberjack tool but if you have a nexus premium account nexus is the place where a lot of mods are kept for a variety of different games nexusmods.com uh, wobberjack takes the mods uh, from that website basically finds them and installs them if you have a premium account which is about two dollars fifty a month then the mod list will automatically download and install for you. If you don't have a premium account, you'll have to click on each mod individually. It will bring you a list of all the mods available in the pack. You have to click download and install. 
download and install. It's still a very streamlined process. You're still going to get it all bundled together and installed correctly for you. And you'll get all the patches, all the changes. It will be very, very similar. But if you pay the $2.50 and you get Nexus Premium, it is a much easier process. I highly recommend it. If you're big on your Skyrim, you know, if you if you play the game for a long amount of time and you just want something, you probably deserve to give the Nexus $2.50 at this point for all they've done for us for a number of years. I highly recommend you grab Nexus Premium. So you just click Browse Mod Lists here and you will see a bunch of mod lists that you would like to get. Now, there's a whole bunch on here. And I, if you if you want, guys, let me know in the comments below. If you want me to, I will do a top five um, list of my favorite mod lists available on Wobbajack. And another note, mod lists come and go all the time, um, not because they get taken down and removed and stuff. It's a very uh, strenuous procedure to get a mod list on Wobbajack because they are highly vetted. Only the best mod lists are accepted. It's not anyone who random person that can chuck a mod list on there and get it up there. It has to be very, very well made, very well put together, has to work very well. So these mod lists are of the highest quality, but you'll see they often go under maintenance because if one mod gets updated on the Nexus, then this whole list has to come down. They have to get the, uh, the updated link or wait until the mod comes back up then they can re-upload their mod list because everything is a list it has master files it basically means that if one mod gets taken out then the mod list can't install so if you see a list that you like grab it while you can because you'll th see things like tso elysium these are big big mod lists but unfortunately they are under maintenance at the moment until the author of whatever mod uploads it again but let's just say we wanted to install noir noir is a great mod list based on requiem 3.4 requiem is a great gameplay overhaul it comes with enhanced graphics so as well as the requiem system on special edition by the way because requiem is not available on special edition but you can get a mod list with it included so no problem there you get enhanced graphics and me mechanics as well as immersion and the idea is to maintain requiem mechanics as much as possible staying true to the original version of requiem requiem plus that sounds great so you would click this button here to download the mod list you can also click this button it will take you to the modding page for this particular list you can get to this through the gallery here so noir and this is important that you should view this page as well because it will have a full warning disclaimer section it will have a full process of getting started on it as well and i do recommend you do read this it will tell you how much you need these are very big mod lists this requires 113 gigabytes of hard drive space right here and a few hours depending on your internet and computer speed again if you don't have nexus premium your download speed will be capped so it will take longer to download as well if you don't have nexus premium but it will tell you how to use wobbajack as well but i will show you now nice and quick um i can also tell you how to set things up little things you need to do like disable the steam overlay a little bit of configuration and installation now there's a lot of information here but essentially it is click and go um you will have to configure some little mcm menus as well um, but that, that's it really this is all just you know little bits of information so this is didn't do lot settings which you don't really need to look at apart from that this is the basic setup here installation installation part two very simple it all comes down and, and downloads nice and easy for you so you don't need to worry a bunch about the complexity of this it is basically click and go and definitely Oh, so much faster than trawling through the Nexus and grabbing each mod individually, trying to patch them, trying to put the load order together individually, and then finding out it doesn't really work very well and ending up with a ton of crashes. So make sure you read the information. When we're ready, we click download mod list and it'll take us to the next page. It's just doing a bit of general tracking right here. As it sorts itself out, you can see the installation size and the download size. Now these two need to be combined. So it's you need to have as much space as that. Oh, it's just opened automatically uh, the page there for me as well. Um, um, and here you go. All you would do is make sure your installation correction uh, <coughs> location, excuse me, is set to the place where you want to install the game. Maybe on your D drive, I have my you know different Fallout 4 Enhanced Editions. I have Ultimate Skyrim here. Let's just say I wanted to put it here. So I would make a new folder in this case, and I would call it Noir. And I would say, cool, I'll put it in that folder. And it would automatically put the download location inside that folder and create a downloads folder now the download location is where the mods are going to download to so the first thing it does it downloads all the mods off the nexus and puts them in that folder and then it will automatically install those mods so this is fine it's basically is going to tell you where it's going to keep those downloads that means if halfway through something goes wrong well then you can just double check uh, the downloads folder or you know everything is already pre-downloaded so when you try and run the mod list again 
um, it will already have most of it downloaded. If you have a problem during installation, by the way, because all you need to do now is click this button and it will start the whole procedure for you. Um, if you do have a problem in installation, uh, one of the main things I always tell people to do is check you have enough space on your hard drive. That's usually the main problem that causes issues with Noir. Check you have enough space on your hard drive. And if that isn't the issue, you can always check uh, the README, the website, or the Discord for uh, Wobbajack is very, very, very helpful. I'll put a link in the description to that as well. In the Discord, there's a section for each specific mod list where people are helping you out as well. So you just click go when you're ready. And once you're done, all you do is open the folder that you installed it. Now, I'm actually opening the Ultimate Skyrim folder um, because I didn't install Noir just then because uh, I don't need it and it's massive. But um, all you'll need to do is just double click the folder you've opened and you'll see in here, this is where all of the mods will be of kept, will have been kept. They are being they will unpacked right here after they have been downloaded. Um, you can also see in your downloads folder, it will have all of the mods that have been downloaded. If you need space on your hard drive, you can delete this downloads folder now that you've installed everything. But what you're gonna wanna do is just run the mod organizer. Now, some of you may be familiar with mod organizer, uh, or maybe you've never installed Skyrim mods before and you, you have never used a modding tool. Mod organizer is definitely the best one. In my opinion, it's widely regarded as the best modding uh, tool around. But in answer to a lot of questions, you don't need to install Mod Organizer. You don't need to use your own Mod Organizer. All you do is go into the folder where the, the model is downloaded and you will have Mod Organizer right there. And now I would right click and run as an administrator and you will get it open. Oh, it's already running, so it'll open up for you. And here you will have the entire mod list you downloaded uh, it'll tell you how many mods are active, it'll have how many ESPs are active, and you don't need to do anything, guys. You don't need to activate anything, you don't need to move any load orders, you don't need to touch anything at all. Everything is uh, in the correct order as the mod author intended. All of the patches are there, all of the, um, you know, just everything is in its correct place. So you do not need to do anything else here. You don't need to go for any complicated procedures. Even if you've never used Mod Organizer before, you don't need to do anything. By the way, yours will probably not look like this. You can change the theme of your Mod Organizer uh, right here. There's lots of different styles. Um, You'll have your drop down box here. If you've never used Mod Organizer, this is how you run something in Mod Organizer. You can add executables into Mod Organizer and run things through Mod Organizer because Mod Organizer doesn't actually put files on your computer. It's a very smart program. You just tell uh, Mod Organizer what mods you want to load and it creates a virtual copy of your Skyrim folder with those files installed and then loads the game. That way you keep your Skyrim folder nice and clean. So you have to run programs through Mod Organizer. But this list here of drop downs will look different depending on what you installed. There might be different plugins, different programs. What I would do now is go back to the README section and just have a look at what they've asked you to do. Um, this is the Noir setup with different information. Mod Organizer set up here as well. It'll tell you how to set up Mod Organizer. So it will say, open Mod Organizer, set a profile you want, launch the game, select SKC and MO2. That's it. So sometimes you have to run um, config files from here. There might be the Fallout 4 config, you might have to run uh, an animation related thing, but whatever it is, you select your drop down. But if you just want to play the game, SKSC is what you want to run it from. That is the script extender. So this will be what it is. Do not press Skyrim. Do not press Skyrim launcher. You do not ever want to use those anymore. They are redundant. They are irrelevant. You want to be very careful running the launcher as well, because you might cause problems with your innies. SKSC, run, and that's it. Everything will go according to plan. You have a now a super duper modded Skyrim with a bunch of awesome, wonderful mods all made to work together, all meant to be used together perfectly, excellently, and made by a very, very talented modder, uh, probably much more talented than both you and I. If you do have problems, the Discord is the place where you want to go as well. But I hope that helps you understand how to download and install mods in 2021 using Wobbajack, the automated mod list installer for all of your Skyrim and modding needs. There we have it. We have Ultimate Skyrim booting up right there in front of your eyes. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Okay, let me know if you have. I appreciate you watching. I hope it's been helpful to you. Um, I'm just going to quit that out right there before the soundtrack plays in the background because I have uh, toss a coin to your witcher as my <laughs> loading screen. And if it starts playing, I might get uh, a little copyright strike. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you want my opinion on what mod list to download. Let me know what kind of games you like to play uh, in terms of, you know, Bethesda-ish stuff. And I'll try my best to recommend something for you. And let me know if you want to see a top five list in my opinion. And don't forget, I do stream these mod lists 
on my Twitch channel. Uh, you know, five days a week I'm streaming on there. Not always Skyrim or, or Fallout stuff, but we definitely do get stuff on there as well. But thank you very much for watching. Chuck us a like if you enjoyed it. Sub if you want more of this. And I will see you in the next one. Enjoy. Enjoy playing Skyrim and other Bethesda games with your new mod list.